The jungle around Iquitos is home to more species than almost anywhere else on Earth. It's a kind of paradise, but it's under threat. Just 15 years ago, giant trees grew near the city. Now they're floated down the river from further away because there are none left here. Deforestation is on the rise. Logging yields valuable timber in which there's a large illegal trade and forests are being cleared for large plantations. But smallholder farmers also cut down trees as they have done for centuries. Like here in Tres Unidos, not far from Iquitos. The farmers clear the land by hand, tree by tree. Then they burn them. It's a common practice throughout the region. It's bad for the environment. It releases large amounts of greenhouse gases. Deforestation in the Amazon region is continuing, as is soil erosion. Burning timber shortens the nutrient cycle. It kills the macro and the microfauna. The erosion means the rain washes away more and more soil and the land becomes useless. Initially, the ash actually makes the soil more fertile, but only for one season. The following year, crop yields generally are smaller. The farmers move on, leaving behind fields that are little more than sand. When you see TV reports about the great biodiversity of plants in our region, you might think the soil in the Amazon is fertile and good for farming. But only 4 or 5 percent of the land is suited to agriculture. That's why farmers have to burn the biomass to provide the soil with carbon that crops need to grow. Cutting down trees is not optional for the people living here. It's a key element in their farming practices. At the same time, they're gradually destroying the very basis of their livelihood. We didn't even have to pour gasoline on it. We'd let the wood dry for three months. We only burn when the wind isn't too strong, otherwise the fire could spread. My children and I keep watch. A couple of times the fire got too close to our house. We doused it with lots of water. But when the fire is further away, we just let it burn. Everybody around here does it. Everyone in the area. Most farmers here grow pineapple, bananas or yucca. This kind of monoculture tends to deplete the soil. Eder Perez has farmed this land the conventional way for five years. Now he's learning something new. The Chaikuni Institute, an NGO devoted to permaculture, has started a pilot project in the region to stop fields being cleared by burning. It introduces what it calls Chakra Integral, an organic farming method in which the land is cleared of weeds and plants are pruned selectively. We're tapping the forest here to create a chakra integral, without burning. And we've planted a lot of plant species, edible plants, medicinal plants, timber and fruit trees. The organization says it's working with local communities to reactivate knowledge from pre-Columbian times. Ancient wisdom that was passed down by word of mouth within a few families on how to farm the jungle sustainably and keep it healthy. Indigenous people don't burn their fields. My mother taught me how to set up a chakra integral. You can see this farm wasn't burned. It has a lot of organic matter. Here you can see leaves and branches that haven't been burned. It's been composted so that the soil retains its moisture, microorganisms and other tiny creatures. Setting up a chakra integral requires a lot of knowledge of the rainforest plants, which ones need lots of light, which ones grow in partial shade, what are their life cycles, what kind of soil do they need, and how far apart should they stand. This is cotton. It also has medicinal uses. 
This is cedrella. The wood is used in construction. And yucca, you can eat the roots. This is a young banana plant. The Chakra Integral concept is designed to provide a wide variety of foods in every season. Once it's up and running, it lasts longer than burned fields and produces more. Workers and farmers in the area are being trained so that they can pass on what they've learned. I'm looking forward to this. I know that I will produce more and plant on the land again and again. I'll be doing it like this. Here there's been no burning. We harvest some of the plants and we leave some of them to dry out and be used as fertilizer. The main thing is that the harvest is better. And it's better for the environment. It's a win-win situation, using ancient agricultural expertise to restore the power of the jungle. <laughs>